In today's video, we're talking all about the 360 degree camera rotation transition. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films. And yes, in today's video, we're talking all about the 360 degree camera rotation transition and how to edit that in your videos. Now, when it comes to filming the camera rotation transition, you first want to begin by ending your first shot with a rotation in one direction. So if I'm filming the shot, I'm gonna use this GoPro as a visual reference for you. Filming the first shot and at the end of the first shot, the camera is going to go 180 degrees upside down. Now, we'll stop rolling, we'll go to the second shot. Now, in the second shot, we can change the location or we can change the focal length to do a rotation zoom effect. But either way, at the beginning of the second shot, you want to start upside down and following the same direction of movement, you want to rotate back up to the very beginning. So the end of the first shot, 180 degrees. The start of the second shot, we're upside down, rotating up. And that is the 360 degree camera rotation effect filmed. So once you've captured these two video clips, we need to drop these into Adobe Premiere Pro to begin with the editing process. So once you've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by going into your finder. And inside of your finder, you just want to find those two video clips. So in my example, I've got rotate in and rotate out. Just gonna drag those in to Premiere Pro. And then we're gonna go up to file, new, sequence we could rename this to rotation and then you want to go into the settings tab select a custom editing mode make sure the time base is the frame rate of your footage so if you shot in 30 frames per second your time base should be 30 frames per second but i shot in 23.976 so i'm going to select 23.976 now make sure the frame size is 1920 by 1080, a pixel aspect ratio of square pixels. And then once all of that is set to those settings, we can press OK. So that is our sequence created. We need to drop our footage into the timeline. So we'll just drag that over. And then on the first video clip, we just want to go ahead and find the point where we start the rotation. So as you can see, we start to rotate here. So halfway through the rotation, I'm just going to cut. We'll scroll to the start of the second clip. There's the rotation. We'll cut the very beginning of this. We'll put those two clips together inside of Premiere Pro. And if we play this back, it's definitely not perfect. It needs some work. So we need to trim the end of the first clip. So we're going to trim that around here. And then we're going to trim the start of the second clip. So around here somewhere. And if we play this back, that is much better. Now, if you were just doing a normal camera rotation transition, then you would be finished now. So you could just go ahead, export that video, and you've got this really awesome transition. But because we changed the focal length on our example, we filmed with a wide shot to begin with, and then we did a close up for the second shot. We're going to add a zoom effect to the end of the first shot to do a camera rotation zoom transition. So you want to find the point where the camera starts rotating. So that is around here. We're going to create a brand new keyframe on position and scale. We'll scroll to the very end and then we'll go to the left one keyframe and then we'll zoom all the way in on the scale. Now you want to go to the very beginning of the second clip. And as you can see, the London eye is just creeping in on the left side of the canvas here. So we want to try and match that with the end of the previous shots. So as you can see, the London eye is currently over here. So if we adjust the position, drag this over to the left, and then we drag this down a touch. Obviously it won't match perfectly. We've got the river in this shot, and obviously we don't have the river in the following shots. But if you get these to a point where they roughly match, if we play this back, we've got this really awesome transition. But the problem is you can definitely see where the keyframe started. Just here, we've got this really aggressive zoom in. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to fix that. So first of all, you want to start by selecting all of those keyframes. Go to right click, go to temporal interpolation and select ease in. Now, if we play that back, that is a lot softer already, but we need to do one more thing to take that to the next level. And that is to pull these first keyframes over to the left a touch. Now that was too much.
And there we go. Once you've found the sweet spot, that transition should work really well. So if we play this back, camera pans over from the left to the right, rotate and zoom into the second shot. And there you go. That is how you do the camera rotation zoom transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a fun, creative and really stylistic transition. So the next time you're creating a video, the next time you're editing something, go ahead, film the rotation transition on set and then go ahead and turn this from a rotation to a zoom transition right inside of Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your support. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.